Hey everyone, I'm Wood Hawker from Beat 'em Ups, and welcome to another episode of Wood's Goods, where I buy stuff in countries that don't want me there, and then I show you guys what I buy, and for some reason I get a bunch of views on it because I'm an Australian fuck. What's going on guys, RGT85 here, and welcome to a episode of Sean Long American Mastodon Video Game Pickups. It's an awesome name, isn't it? I mean, you know, it works. Um, yeah, so I bought some games and some other shit. I'm basically just going to show you guys what I bought. Uh, I do have a little announcement before we get into the video. And of course, yes, there is a giveaway. But I'm not going to tell you about the giveaway until a random portion of this video. So you have to watch the entire video. So basically, a um, little quick announcement. Tomorrow, um, Saturday, October 15th, I'll be at Fayetteville Comic Con in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, I have a panel there at 5 p.m. talking about video games. The con is at the Crown Coliseum in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I hope to see some of you guys there. I was gonna do an announcement video earlier, but I'm just a piece of shit and I forgot. But yes, I do hope I can see some of you guys there. Um, I will be there all day from 10 to six. And like I said, the panel is at five. So come on out if you have the opportunity to do so. Also, um, I guess that was my only announcement, so I don't know why I said also. All right, so we got some video games here. I want to start off by saying thank you to Nick and Charlie. Um, Fans of the show, they sent me some cool stuff. I'm gonna get a P.O. box. I didn't want to get a P.O. box because I didn't want to seem like, you know, one of those people. But I don't know, if you guys want to send me stuff, I mean, that's really an honor. So I should be nice enough to at least have a P.O. box. So uh, Nick sent me a copy of Tempest 2000 on the Atari Jaguar. I uh, just recently picked up a Jaguar a couple months ago, and this is supposedly one of the best games on the system. So I'm really looking forward to playing this. So thank you, Nick. That's freaking awesome. Um, Charlie lives in another country i'm not quite sure what country i believe it's a uh, european country though and uh, he sent me a copy of serious sam the next encounter i don't know maybe charlie doesn't live in another country but if he does that would work too uh serious sam the next encounter on ps2 nice little blue box and he sent me a bunch of really high quality dreamcast uh repros and i don't know if some of these are homebrews or repros but they're all schmucks and i was really blown away to see some of these um rainbow cotton on the Dreamcast, um, and I'll show you guys the inside of this one. Like everything has like, you know, there's like label art and stuff. So this is high quality stuff here. Um, Fast Striker, which is another shmup. Under Defeat. Twinkle Star Sprites. And a four in one pack with my favorite Dreamcast game, Ikaruga on here. This has Ikaruga, Zero Gunner, Two Border Down and Sivier 2. Um, four games on one disc. So, seriously, guys, thank you so much. I'm blown away that anyone wants to send me anything. So, that's super cool, you guys. Um, so, let's start out with um, some basic stuff. I recently got a PS3 from Gilly the Kid and uh, to play backwards compatibility. Um, it's a fully backwards compatible system. And I bought some cheap PS3 games just to beef up the library a little bit. And they're games I wanted, so. Uh, Super Street Fighter 4, um, I am playing this online, so if you play you know, PS3 online, you have a copy of this, come get your ass whipped. RGT underscore 85 is my name. Uh, Skyrim, yes, I know, I'm not a fan of Bethesda games. It was $5, I just wanted to play this one because I never really put a lot of time into it. And now I see why, because the frame rate sucks ass. Skate 3, uh, love this game. Um, I love the first one the best, honestly, but Skate 3 is pretty fun. Shadows of the Damned, I never played this. I love, um, I think this is a uh, Suda51 game. Yeah, it's a Suda51 game. Suda51's awesome, so I've been playing this some, it's pretty cool. Uh, Remember Me, it's a real interesting game. It kind of reminds me of uh, PN number three or PN03, whatever that was on the GameCube from Capcom. Uh, pretty cool game, not bad, couple bucks. And Beyond Two Souls, um, I have not played this game any. I have no idea what it's about. It looks like a sort of heavy rain sort of game, but it was a steel book and it was like eight bucks at GameStop. Honestly, as much as GameStop, you know, kind of sucks, right now is the best time to buy PS3 and Xbox 360 games because a lot of them are dirt cheap. Now, also, I bought some shit in my sleep because that's evidently something I do now. So I bought a bunch of Nintendo Powers. I'm gonna put them up on the screen. There were 23 in the lot. Um, the classic era of Nintendo Power, the late uh, NES, early Super Nintendo era. So it's super fun to thumb through these and look at all the you know nostalgia feelings and stuff. Some really good episodes or issues in here that I really enjoy, that I remember from my childhood. 
and they were only like 42 bucks shipped off eBay, so I wasn't super mad when I woke up and saw, hey, you just bought a shit ton of Nintendo Powers. All right, something else I picked up in my sleep. It, sleep buying is really a, a thing for me, but it's died down, thankfully. Um, ID number nine, which I know you guys hopefully saw my review of it. It doesn't suck. It's really a fun game. Um, if you could pick it up for cheap, I would. And you might see the uh, Beck figure here. Um, yes, I got the uh, signature edition as well. I like the game. So um, I wanted the figure pretty bad. I didn't give a shit about the PS4 version or the Xbox One version of the game. But it was going for like 40 bucks on eBay. Uh, my buddy Chris actually found a version on Amazon used for 16 bucks. Supposedly had damage. There's no damage on it. Everything was mint. So I got the figure. You know, it just looks cool. And it's, it's not a bad game. I don't give a shit what anyone says. All right. Before we get into the final couple pickups here, um, I want to let you guys know how to enter the contest. Uh, I'm going to give away something. I, I don't really know what I'm going to give away. I'll, I'll find something here. or I'll pick something up at Fayetteville Comic Con to give away. So you'll have to watch my Fayetteville Comic Con video. That's what I'll do. I'm going to buy something at Fayetteville Comic Con, and then you will see my Fayetteville Comic Con video and find out what you can win. So uh, in order to enter, just like this video, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Sega Genesis game is. And of course, be subscribed to the channel. If you could get other people to subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome too, because I kind of want to hit 15K by the end of the year. I think we could do it. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, favorite Sega Genesis game. Uh, we'll do these in order of interest of me. The final four pickups. Uh, Yokai Watch 2 Fleshy Souls. I got this from Nintendo through Nintendo Enthusiasts, which I am editor-in-chief of. And uh, they sent me both uh, versions of the game. I have no interest in playing this. I probably won't even open it. I played the first one. I didn't like it. Paper Mario Color Splash. Do not sleep on this game. If you have a Wii U, buy it. It's really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. It really surprised me with how fun it is. The graphics are gorgeous. And the writing is some of the best writing that I've encountered in a video game in a long time. So, super cool. Uh, Faxanadu on the NES. This is a cheap NES game that I did not own. So, I am glad to add this to the collection. I wanted to uh, play it one night and I went to grab it and I was like, I don't own this. This is ridiculous. So, super stoked to add this. And finally, the uh, Creme de la Creme. The NES game that I've wanted for a minute, and I finally got it for a good price. Darkwing Duck. Yes, folks, Darkwing Duck. Um, I actually got this from a place called Starlight Games. I believe they're in the Charleston, South Carolina area. Um, I posted on Facebook that I was looking for a copy. Uh, one of my Facebook friends, I believe it was Corey, Corey, um, got me in touch with Starlight Games. They gave me a great price on it shipped. So finally, Darkwing Duck is in the collection. I am super stoked. And you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do one more teaser. So, I have this big ass box right here. Do you know what's in this box? Do you want to find out what's in this box? That's too damn bad. Because this box, what's in this box, is going to be my holiday Christmas special video. And it's going to be really fun, but I kind of just wanted to tease you guys a little bit because it's going to be a cool episode. Basically, I'm going to go back into the past and relive a certain Christmas with the system that's inside of here. I already own the system, but this is a this is the actual same bundle that I got on Christmas morning, uh, and I won't give you the year because I'll probably maybe give it away, but yes, that'll be a fun video. So, let's wrap this up here. Fayetteville Comic Con, Fayetteville, North Carolina, October 15th and 16th, come on out. If you're there, come get up with me. Hit me up on Facebook, uh, send me a message, or just find me on the show floor. 5 p.m. I have a video game panel, so make sure you come out to that. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite Sega Genesis game is. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel and you will be entered in the giveaway. I will buy something at Fayetteville Comic Con just for you guys, just to give away on the channel. And as always, thank you for watching the video. P.O. Box coming soon. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later.